Welcome to foreclosure.com. My name is Tim Jones. I'm excited to introduce you to our guest, Jose Sepulveda with eXp Realty. Jose, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Hey, my pleasure. I appreciate your time uh, or your invitation. Can you tell us about your background in real estate? Yeah, actually, uh, I my my passion has always been working with people, being able to kind of uh, make an impact. And, and that's what I kind of found here with, with real estate. A friend of mine actually is who pulled me into this. And uh, really glad I did because it's it's just been uh, it's it's been very rewarding to be able to work with folks, help them be able to to purchase a home, tenth home, fifth home, first home, whatever it may be. It's just it's been it's been very rewarding for me to be able to make that impact on them. And yeah, it, eight years later, um, still here, still going strong. That's great. It's it's got to be good to have a, a a passion where you can help people. Yes. Yes. So. So what are you currently seeing in the Southern California, San um, Bernardino County housing markets? Uh, you know what, what, what's going on right now is it's just, it's been a slow market this year. Uh, and and uh, meaning this, just the number of transactions is not very high uh, interest rates. As soon as they jumped, you know, everyone that, uh, that was excited about those low rates, bought their home, refinanced their home. Uh, now they're all kind of pulling back and, and standing on the sidelines. So it's really kind of slowed things down. Um, in fact, I, I mean, our, our uh, inventory right now of homes that are for sale, it, it's down like 20% for year over year. Hmm. Um, but the ratios are still pretty similar in terms of uh, buyer seller. So, you know, the, the prices, however, are not going down. They're in fact, actually going up or, uh, you know, roughly about three and a half percent right now, year over year of price growth. So hmm. in that sense, it's a normal market. It's just, it, it's slow. There's, there's not a lot of, uh, sales happening. Interesting. Okay. And how about, uh, have you noticed any trends with foreclosures? Uh, actually, yeah, uh, they're, they're going up. Uh, we, we've actually had an increase in foreclosures. There, there's more to it than just simply that, because, you know, going back to the, the last three years, everything kind of flipped upside down. The uh, forbearance program put a halt to all those foreclosures that should have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, regulations caused banks to be more inclined to work with sellers, or I shouldn't say sellers, but homeowners mm -hmm. to uh, to be able to, uh, you know, get current, be able to get caught up. And all that's kind of running out. So the foreclosure numbers are going up. It's just that the pre foreclosure numbers are going up and and I would expect it to continue as as time continues to pass and 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 we're still not where we were back in like 2019 but I would expect it to get up there it's just um you know everyone has equity today or most people have equity today so before it gets to the end and, and they lose their home I, I would expect to see at least a good majority of them look to sell their home before they end up losing it but there, there's going to be an increase in the number of distressed properties. No that, no, that makes sense. And 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 how do you assist your clients in finding affordable housing in your market? One, one of the tools is is this right here with uh, looking at foreclosures, because if, if you can, again, looking at one of those uh, homeowners that doesn't want to lose their home, uh, you know, that could open an opportunity. So once I know what that buyer is looking for, where they're looking for it, I, I like to look at the foreclosure opportunities that match up with that and, and see if we can't find something for them yeah. in, uh, in that. And, and, you know, these are, these are homeowners that they're, they're most of them anyway, are going to be more inclined to uh, make a good deal, you know, not give the house away, but make a good deal before they lose that equity. No, that makes perfect sense. Uh, you touched on this earlier, but what are your expectations for the 2024 housing market in the, for the Inland Empire? Yeah, I I honestly I'm expecting next year to be a, a little bit better of a year. Uh, probably not until the the late part of second quarter, you know, like spring, summer, kind of in that range. Mm -hmm. And and that's just simply because the uh, all all the analysis points that we should expect to see rates start coming back down at that point in time. So you know when that happens, my my opinion is when that happens when we get down into that low six percent range, kind of. Kind of not necessarily six, but but the low part of the six percent, uh, I I would say we should expect to see more people coming into the market, and and things really start picking up by that point. But just you know, and until that happens, I, I I'm not expecting to see too much change. Okay, interesting. And how do you utilize a, a service like Foreclosure.com to find affordable homes? I for me, I think it's a great tool. 
Well, because like I was saying, if, of looking for foreclosure opportunities out there, I mean, this is this is a great tool to be able to find that. You know, what specifically are we talking about? You know, what type of distressed property, foreclosure, pre-foreclosure, uh, short sale? You know, what is it we're talking about? Where are we looking? And and you can punch all that in and find what you're looking for uh, with with within that scope. And and it's not just for us as agents. I mean, you know, and somebody looking to buy a home that they want to move into. They can use it. Uh, investors can. It, it's just it. It's a great tool to be able to uh, define that. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank Jose again for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, don't forget to sign up for our free email alerts on foreclosure.com. Until next time, I'm Tim Jones with foreclosure.com, and thank you for watching.